let's talk about our wet weather coming up. Yeah, yeah, we are going to be looking at some rainfall possibilities here, Todd, outside. This evening, though, you can see we're still dry here. Starting to get a little bit cloudier, though, from the downtown sky cam. Looking off to the south and west. A little bit grayer skies overhead following that sunshine that we got for at least most of today. Temperatures low 60s outside. Winds out of a little bit warmer direction than we had yesterday. Uh, we've got breezes out of the southeast about 11 miles per hour. There's the rainfall we showed you a little bit earlier. Still mainly out over parts of western and northwestern Iowa here this evening and drifting that direction. This is just chance number one for tonight. Widen the picture out a little bit. You won't be able to see it, but there's a disturbance high up in the atmosphere that's rippling across Nebraska right now. That's what's forcing up these showers. Eventually, over the next day or so, we're going to bring that warm front way to the south and west up into Iowa. That'll bring us a big jump in temperatures and also another shot at some storms here too. Let's go through tonight. So there's those few showers uh, in northwest Iowa that drift northeastward as we go through the next few hours past sunset up towards places like Pocahontas and Fort Dodge and uh, Esterville and Emmitsburg. You might see a little bit of some rainfall here as we head through eight, nine o'clock. And then once we head towards midnight, another batch of this time, probably some storms is going to fire up right around somewhere. Let's say Highway 30 ish move northward and then we'll see a few of those showers and storms linger into parts of east central Iowa into about daybreak tomorrow. So the chance of rain late tonight is mainly going to be the northern half of the state and into northeastern Iowa before that sweeps out of here. And then we're going back to sunshine tomorrow afternoon. And remember that warm front I mentioned breeze picks up out of the south and west and we warm up in a big way. We're in the end of October here last week of October and we're going to be pushing 80 degrees tomorrow afternoon. It's going to be not very much like fall at all, minus the leaves. You can see obviously now as we go towards tomorrow night, then here's your next rainfall possibility. Another little boundary, a little stronger push of wind that's going to push some moisture in here. We'll fire up again a few more showers and storms. This is late tomorrow night into early on Tuesday. And again, northern Iowa going to be the main focus zone for those scattered showers and storms. And then once we head towards Tuesday onward, our focus turns to this kind of slow moving frontal zone that's going to come our direction from the north and west. This is going to be a factor in our forecast Tuesday into Wednesday and then into Thursday as this front kind of slowly moves in here and multiple different weather systems right up along it and bring us multiple rounds of showers and thunderstorms through the middle of this upcoming week. So multiple different rain chances that we're going to kind of have to tackle day by day in the forecast picture tonight. Rain chance number one is a few storms about midnight onward. Best chance if you're off to the north, a little bit milder night too with that moisture around low 50s for temperatures tonight near 80 degrees tomorrow. We'll forecast 79 for the meantime here in the Des Moines metro area. Another day of upper 70s Tuesday. Winds pick up too, occasionally some gusts around 30 miles per hour. Rain possibilities both Wednesday and Thursday. By Friday we are drier and clearer, but the temperatures are starting to fall off by this weekend. We're going to be struggling to get to 50 degrees. And right now it looks like another weather system will move through here. And I don't know if all of that precipitation across the Midwest this weekend is going to be liquid. We'll keep our eyes on that.